Hi, I'm Tom Mason, and this is a video to show you how to enter your own custom comments in PowerTeacher Gradebook so that you have your own comment bank. The reason this is really cool is you might enter the same comments very frequently. So you might say that the student needs to do more homework and they're not turning it in consistently. If that happens a lot, you know, you don't want to type that in semester after semester. So I'm going to show you how to add those so that you can keep using the same comments on a regular basis. So what you need to do is go to Tools, then click on Preferences. Then the first tab is the Comment Bank. That's where you want to be. All you have to do to add a comment is click on the Add button, and then you need to give it a code. I'm going to say that I'm creating comments for my algebra subject. So I'm going to make a code of A1, and then I'm just going to call them A1, A2. Uh, it's just something you have to enter so that you can have unique identifiers for your comments. Next, you can make whatever category you want. I'm just going to say Algebra. Then, I can type in whatever comment I want to have. So to use my earlier example of a student who's inconsistent about turning in their homework, I'm going to say, turns in homework inconsistently, if I can spell it. There we go. Okay. So I can hit OK, and then I can say OK again. See, I see it's stored here in my comment bank, so OK. Now I want to assign the comment that I created to a student. So I'm going to look at my example student, April O'Neill. I'm going to click on her final grade of 55%, and I'm going to make sure that I'm not in the score tab, but I'm in the comment tab. Then it says show comments. Make sure you have my comment bank selected and not district comment bank. From there, I can simply double click on the comment that I've created, and then I can close and I see the little C that indicates that that comment has been added. I covered all of this in a previous video that I've made about adding student comments and definitely watch that if you want a refresher on how comments work. Now let's check out some further options that are really cool related to creating your own comment bank. I'm gonna go to preferences I'll say yes I'll save the changes since it bothers me about that and let's add another comment let's make an A2 for algebra and you see that it saved that category since I've used it previously. I want to talk to you about smart text. These are these cool little variables that you can use to say him or her or have PowerSchool insert the student's name so that it's really slick and you don't have to worry about typing that. It'll save you some time. So let's use those now. Now instead of saying that turns in homework inconsistently is my comment, let's say that the students made some really great progress this semester. But we want to use the student's name. I'll show you how to do that. Click on Insert Smart Text, and then just you, click, you just click on whichever of these variables that you want. So let's say first name, space, has greatly improved this semester. Now let's add another one. Let's say him, her. Now let's say he, she, but let's make sure you use the capitals so that it looks correct not the he, she with the lowercase. Click on that, add another space, has made great progress, and click OK. You see in the comment text that it shows those smart text options here, but when we apply it to the student, it will update with the variables to be he or she, as well as their first name. We'll hit OK to save that. And let's go back and update the student's comment. I'm going to highlight and delete the other one out of here. Go back to my comment bank and there are the comments for you that we've created. So we'll double click on this new one, A2. And instead of first name and he or her, it's, or sorry, he or she, it's going to add in the student's first name here and he because apparently I've made this student a male in power school. But that's my test student. I won't worry about that. In your actual school, we're going to assume that your students have the correct gender set in their student profiles. And that's how it works. So we close, and our comment has been saved. That's how you can create your own personal comment bank with the comments that you use regularly. Simple. If you have any questions about this, go ahead and leave them beneath the video. And make sure you let me know if there's other topics that you'd like me to cover related to PowerTeacher Gradebook. I'm Tom Mason, and thank you for watching.